So last week uh, we talk about the um Aramana Sangha object, yeah, analysis of Manda phenomena by object. Uh, I will finish today by looking at this this one, yeah. <clears throat> So for busy object and uh, consciousness, last week we talk about that uh, the words yeah already ikanta and aniganda. Iganda is uh, only the karma object yeah sense pure object. Aniganda is not only one, but uh, including karma object and uh, one more. Yeah, one more. So it means aniganda, not only one object. So basically, there is a four uh, object: karma, mahagada, sublime, penyadi, uh, concept, and nibbana. Yeah. So four basic object. So this table, if you understand the this one, you will automatically understand actually. Yeah. But uh, you need to um, pay attention to it, yeah? So, for example, when we look at together, you will understand that. So, karma object. So, the first consciousness, the group, yeah? The first group of consciousness, Dwe Pancha Vinyana, five sense to advising consciousness. So, for each consciousness, like uh, eye consciousness, the object of the eye consciousness is visible, yeah, visible object. And for ear consciousness, so uh, respectively, yeah. So why it is we call the karma? So in the, in the rupa vajara, yeah, when we meditate, when you get when you reach the um, the state of jhana. Then there is a no visible. There's no visible. Mm -hmm. In the Mahagada, in the concept, you cannot see, you know, um, uh, for example, uh, Siali Aganyani. So Siali Aganyani, the name, we cannot see the name, but we see that uh, we call this Siali uh, as Aganyani. So like that, you, you cannot see that concept. And nibbana as well, you you have to experience with knowledge, you know, visible. So, out of these four objects, so dvipancha vinyana, five sense to advancing consciousness. Uh, the object of this will be only karma. So it's called the ikanda. Yeah, I hope you got it. Not more than that karma. Yeah. So triple mind element three. Triple mind element three is a uh, five sense to advancing consciousness and two kinds of receiving consciousness. So that one as well, but if you want to understand this, you have to look at the that one, yeah? So here you see, um, Panchadwara Vajana, five sense to advancing consciousness. You can find in this uh, thought process. And here there is a no Panchadwara. Only in Panchadwara, five sense to um, thought process. Yeah. So that's why that one as well, only the karma. So if you if you practice the meditation, if you reach to the some kind of jhana, or if you um, attain the sodabadi stage or more, um, that five sense to advancing is not working, not included in that thought process. Only when you see, hear, or something uh, uh, for uh, hear, taste, in that in that thought process only. Um, that kind uh, that consciousness five sense to advancing consciousness uh, included there and two receiving consciousness as well here you can see um, 
receiving consciousness, sampadichana. Only in this kind of thought process, you will find it sampadichana. And you cannot find in Manodwara, in other Jewana, Maga, Palla, Abhinya. No. So you don't need. So that kind, that consciousness, receiving consciousness, not working in other kinds of thought process. So it means only when you see, when you hear, when you taste. Yeah. So that's why triple mind element three take only the gamma object. And Dadaramana. Yeah. Dadaramana is a um, eight Mahavipaka. Yeah, Mahavipaka resultant, great, great resultant, eight and three investigating. So let's find out here. So Dadaramana here, you find it and here as well. Yeah, here as well. But only, so Dadaramana, the nature of the Dadaramana um, is only for the uh, sense pure existence. Mm -hmm. Not in the fine material and immaterial sphere uh, planes. You cannot find it. So that's why when uh, a consciousness arises uh, in the sense pure realms, there, the Dadaramana can be there, can be found, but not in other uh, fine material sphere rim and immaterial sphere rim and other kinds of thought process, you cannot find the Dadaramana. So that's why Dadaramana as well only uh, can take only gamma object. So all together, 25. So this one is a maybe for, not maybe, in the, in the um, Yama, there's a Abhidhamma exam. So how many kinds of consciousness take the gamma object only? Uh, like that, the question. <laughs> you have to take it out and write down. And with the reason, something like that. <laughs> so you have to explain it a bit and you can answer. Um, okay, so let's continue next one. So how about the second rule, Anikanda? Anikanda, Akusala 12, yeah? And wholesome uh, consciousness 12. So and wholesome consciousness 12 is, you know, here, mm, Akusala 12, three periods of time, six object except local direct state. So it means, so I want to go from the beginning. Yeah, I want to talk very. Uh, we have talk about the we have already discussed. Uh, we have had a lot of time for it. So akusala and wholesome consciousness take gamma object, mahagada object, and panyati. But akusala cannot take the object uh, of nibbana. Yeah, as its object. So Akusala has Gamma Mahagata three. That is that is why Anikanda means not only Karma but also Mahagata and Panyati. So three object can take. Yeah. Aku uh, and Hosan action, uh, and Hosan consciousness take three object. And Manodwara Vajana. So Manodwara Vajana. Uh, this one as well, you can understand by looking and analyzing the thought process as well yeah akusala maybe here and here you can found but jawana magapala abenya nirora samabadi any other kinds of um, thought process the akusala and rules and consciousness cannot be found yeah so and that one, a manodwara vajana, mind do advancing consciousness. This one is you can find it can be found in uh, Wotapana, manodwara vajana here one, and manodwara vajana 
and Manodwara Vajana. So any kinds of thought process, in any kinds of thought process, Manodwara Vajana, mind or advancing consciousness can be found. It means Manodwara take all kinds of objects. Yeah, all kinds of objects. So <clears throat> nothing to be excluded, including Nibbana. So that's why Manodwara take the object, not only karma, but also Mahagada, Panyati, and Nibbana. So that's why it is called a Niganda. So Niganda means not only one, yeah? And Mahakusala. Mahakusala eight. So in this group, Mahakusala, great wholesome consciousness, you have to uh, understand it, uh, two different parts. Yeah. So four consciousness without knowledge. Another four is with knowledge. Jnana Sambhuda and Jnana Vibhuda. Uh, without knowledge, Jnana Vibhuda. With knowledge, Jnana Sambhuda. So here as well, you can find the Mahakusala Jnana Vibhuda four. It's a great holes and consciousness uh, without knowledge. And this one as well, six object except logo dara state so jnana will be able to, without knowledge even though it is good holds and uh, consciousness cannot take the object uh, nibbana cannot take the nibbana as its object uh, so that's why that's why jnana will be able to, uh, Holds and consciousness without knowledge take the object not only karma but also mahagada and panyati three three objects can take it and jnana sambhuda great holds and consciousness with knowledge for here you can see jnana sambhuda for yeah six object except Rahada Maga Empala. Rahada Maga Empala. So Rahada Maga Empala. So that's why four great holes and consciousness with knowledge can take the object, not only karma, but also Mahagada, Banyadi, and Nibbana with the exception. With the exception of Rahada Maga Empala. So if uh, whatever. We can see four great wholes and consciousness with knowledge can take four objects, excluding Arhatta, Maga, and Pala. Yeah? So next one as well, the same. Mahakiriya, eight. This one also, you have to make two groups. Um, four functional, great functional consciousness Without knowledge, yeah, without knowledge, uh, here, jnana sambhuta, here, without knowledge, mahakiriya jnana vibhuta, yeah, great functional, without knowledge, six object except local drastic, yeah, local drastic, so that's why four great functional consciousness without knowledge can take not only gamma object but also mahagata and panyati yeah not nibbana yeah not logodra and next one great functional um great functional consciousness with knowledge is here mahakriya jnana sampyuta this is all objects without exception yeah so, so uh, for, for great functional consciousness with knowledge, take the object of all these four. And uh, two abenya. Two abenya. 
So Abenya, I hope you and uh, you uh, you remember. Um, Abenya consciousness is the other name of the fifth jhana. Yeah, wholesome fifth jhana, kusala abenya, and functional uh, fifth jhana, functional fifth jhana, kiriya abenya. So two abenya. So these two as well, uh, the different. Yeah. So kusala abenya. Let's find out here. Kusala abenya. Um, Kusala abenya is here. Let me. Kusala abenya. That one is like uh, the Mahakusala Nyana Sambiuda. Six object except Arhada Maga and Pala. So that's why Kusala abenya take the object Kama, Mahagada, Panyadi and Nibbana or Logotara, excluding the Radha, Maga, and Pala. This is the Kusala Abhinya. Yeah? And Kiriya Abhinya. So, fit functional jhana. Yeah? Fit jhana or functional. Uh, Kiriya Abhinya. So, Kiriya Abhinya is like a uh, Mahakiriya Jnana Sambhuda. Kiriya Abhinya. So, can take all objects. So that's why Kiriya Abhinya take the object of these four. Lama, Mahagata, Banyati, and Nibbana. So that's why it is two group, Ekanta and Anekanta. So Ekanta, uh, we call the Kama Ekanta 25 and Kama Anekanta 31. So Anekanda means not only karma, but also other one more, at least one more. Yeah. So let's find out next one, Mahagada. Yeah. Mahagada, Vinya, Nancha, Yadana, three. Yeah. Vinya, Nancha, Yadana, three. And Olsen, resultant, and function. And functional. And Newa Sanya Na Sanya Yadana three. They said also Olsen and resultant and function. So Winya Nancha Yadana is a second, yeah. Agasa Nancha Yadana. The object is infinite space. And second one, Winya Nancha Yadana. The object of that consciousness is that consciousness, the first consciousness. We call the Bali is a Batama Rupa, yeah? The first Aruba consciousness. First, um, um, Agasa Nanja Yadana. So that consciousness. So that's why Vinya Nanja Yadana, the object of that consciousness is only Mahagata, no other, yeah? And Niwa Sanya Na Sanya Yadana. So, the third one is uh, Agen Sanya Yadana. The object of the Agen Sanya, the third Aruba consciousness, the object of that consciousness is, um, what is it? Nothingness. Yeah? Nothingness. So, Niwa Sanya, Na Sanya Yadana, the, the object of that consciousness is that third uh, third Aruba consciousness. So that Aruba consciousness is called the Mahagata. So that's why these six consciousness take only Ikanda, yeah? Only Mahagata object. There's no other object, yeah? So how about the others? This is the same here, yeah? 31, 31, 31, yeah? So if you look at it again and again, if you think again and again, then you you will got it, yeah? Uh, Anikanda Akusala 12. The object uh, Akusala can take the Kama Mahagata Banyati, not Nibbana, yeah? Not Nibbana. So that's why the object of the and uh, consciousness is 
not only karma, mahagada, panyati. Three, manodwara wajana is all these four. Yeah, uh, we talk about already, we talk about manodwara wajana, this group. Yeah, and mahakusala eight as well, you have to um, divide two parts. One is great holes and consciousness with knowledge, jnana sampayuta, without knowledge. With knowledge um, can take all these karma, mahakata, penyati, nibbana, except anatta, maga, and pala. Uh, without knowledge, without knowledge is only karma, mahakata, and penyati, only three. Yeah, Mahakirya as well. Yeah, we have already talked about. That's why I don't, um, I don't explain detail. Mahakriya as well. You have to divide two two group and with knowledge, with knowledge can take all these objects. Without knowledge, only karma, mahagata, and panyati. And two abhinya as well. Kusala abhinya and kiriya abhinya. Kusala Benya take the object Kama Mahagata Banyati Nibbana but uh, excluding uh, Radha Maga and Pala. And Kiriya Abhinya can take all these objects. Yeah, so Mahagata and Niganda is the same with the Kama and Niganda 31. Yeah. And Panyati Eganda, let's find out here. Find material sphere consciousness 15, yeah? Except to Abhinya, to direct knowledge consciousness too. So uh, originally there are 15 consciousness for the fine material sphere. Yeah, fine material sphere is just 15. So even though except two abhinya, you exclude two abhinya consciousness, 15 is a 15, yeah? Because this, uh, the abhinya is a uh, special, yeah? You have to uh, practice more if you reach the fit jhana and you practice, uh, I think we have already talked about that. If you reach the level of fit jhana, if you have the fit jhana, then you have to practice like uh, I want to I want to hear what they are talking, yeah, something like that. You have to make attention. You want to hear or you want to see uh, what's happening in other parts of the world or something like that. Yeah. So this is special practice after fifth jhana. Yeah. So that's why find material sphere consciousness fifteen is only Banyati, concept object. So about that one as well, don't forget uh, what I taught, or what I said uh, earlier. When you practice meditation, the first, you have to look at, the, for, for example, Batawi Kasina, you collect some, um, what is it, some soil, and as you prepare, yeah, you can uh, you have to, you will have to learn about this in the ninth chapter yeah how to prepare the um meditation object and you look at that the art 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 you look at with open eye and then when you close your eyes you can see the same object yeah so at, until that stage the object of that meditation is just material, yeah? Material means uh, uh, paramata, yeah? Absolute truth. And after that stage, you close your eyes and then that object transform to patibhaga nimeda, counterpart sign English translation, but mm, should not be satisfied, yeah? <laughs> with, the, with that, uh, uh, translation, but um, we we cannot translate um, more good, yeah, <laughs> than that counterpart sign. 
So even though you close your eyes, the object is uh, we call the Bhattavika Sina, the art, art, but when you reach that stage, Padibhaga Nimeda, similar, but not the same. I don't know how to say, yeah, in that in that part, yeah. So Padibhaga Nimeda. So that time, the object is not Paramatta, just concept, yeah, just concept. At this stage, your object might be um, like a fire, just like a fire, not real fire, like a glass or like a water. There's a lot of kinds of different um, different object, maybe. This is called the Patibhaga Nimeda. It is just a concept, yeah, just a concept. So, so that's why I find material sphere consciousness is only concept, yeah, not a brahmacha, yeah. And agasa nancha yadana. So this one, the object of these three consciousness is infinite space akasa, yeah. Agin chanya yadana three. The object of the conscious these three consciousness is only nothingness. This one as well is just a concept. Nothingness. Actually, nothing or having something, this is just a concept. Yeah. So that's why all together is a 15 and this six all together, 21 has the only concept object. That's why Banyati Ekanda. So how about the Banyati and Ekanda? So this one as well, we have already talked about that. Akusala, take the object, Kama, Mahagata, Banyati. Not Nibbana, Manodora Vajana, Kama, Mahagata, Banyati, Nibbana, or four, and Mahakusala eight, and with knowledge four, four consciousness with knowledge can take all objects, excluding the um Arhada Maga and Pala, and four consciousness without knowledge, only these three. And Mahagiriya as well the same, four consciousness without knowledge, take these three consciousness, four consciousness without, uh, with knowledge can take all these four. And two Abhinya as well the same. Yeah? Kusala Abhinya, take the object, uh, Kama, Mahagata, Panyati, Nibbana, excluding Arhata Maga. Kiriya Abhinya, take all these four consciousness. Okay, so. The next one is Nibbana Ikanda. This, of course, is uh, clear for this one. <laughs> yeah, local Dara. Local Dara, uh, Supramundane Consciousness 8, take the Nibbana as an object. Yeah, Nibbana only. Yeah, uh, Nibbana Aniganda. Nibbana Aniganda means not only Nibbana, but also other kinds of object as well. Mano Dwara Vajana. Not only Nibbana, Mano Dwara take the object, uh, not only Nibbana, but also Manodara Vajana, Panyati, Mahagata, Kama. And Mahakusala, Jnana, Sambhuda. Mahakusala, Jnana, Sambhuda, great wholesome and consciousness with knowledge. These consciousness contain the object, Kama, Mahagata, Panyati, Nibbana as well, but uh, you have to exclude the Arhada Maga and Pala. So that's why this one as well, Nibbana and other object as well. Mahakiriya Jnana Vibhuta. Mahakiriya Jnana Vibhuta 4. And great functional consciousness. Yeah. Great functional consciousness. Uh, no. no, Jnana must be. Jnana Sampiuta, yeah? Here, yeah. Makusala 
Mahakirya, Jnana, Sampayoda, not only all objects. So I have to um, rewrite here. Yeah? Mahakirya, Jnana, Sampayoda. Mahakirya, Jnana, Sampayoda take the object uh, of Nibbana, not only Nibbana, but also other kinds of object as well. Yeah, without exclusion. Yeah. Uh, Jnana Sampayuda, yeah, Jnana Sampayuda. Four, and Abhinya, Kusala Abhinya, take the object, uh, Nibbana as an object, and not only Nibbana, but also other Kama Mahagata and Penyadi. But Nibbana, for the Nibbana, Radha Maga Pala, the Kusala Abhinya cannot take as object. But Kiriya Abhinya, Kiriya Abhinya can take all the object without exception. I hope you got it. <laughs> Any question? Calm shoes, Mr. Allen? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> okay. Complicated. Complicated. So complicated. Yeah. But uh, I, I uh, suggest to read yeah this thirty minutes one. Uh, you make a force and then you think, and then you look at this table and that two table. You will understand. I believe that. I believe that. At the beginning, the problem is uh, when you point out a one one consciousness, you don't remember that. It will be more complicated. If you remember, Kusala Abhinya, Kusala Abhinya, all six objects, excluding the Alhatta, Maga, and Pala. If you know that, then you can uh, uh, understand this Ikanda and Ikanda. Not very difficult. Let me see like that. <laughs> you know, sometimes if I say, oh, no, very difficult, uh, Bandi, very difficult. <laughs> Uh, when I when I say, uh, it's not very difficult for you. <laughs> they say like that. They make a joke like that. <laughs> if I say, uh, not very difficult for you. <laughs> I need okay. to spend more time on it, I guess, yes. Yeah, yeah. You can uh, listen again and then you think. Okay. Uh, this one, I need analysis of mental factors by object. So um, when we analyze the mental factors uh, by object, if you understand analysis of consciousness, then we don't need. For example, uh, for example, loba, yeah? Loba, yeah? Uh, that you have to understand the Chidasika, yeah? Chidasika chapter as well. So how many kinds of consciousness are together with the Loba, yeah? So, um, wholesome, uh, sorry, and wholesome greed, um, what is it? I forgot it. Greed consciousness, not greed. Greed rooted consciousness. Yeah, greed rooted consciousness. Thank you. Thank you. So eight greed rooted consciousness. Yeah. Eight greed rooted consciousness are together with it. So eight greed rooted consciousness. If you analyze a greed rooted consciousness, the eight these eight consciousness take the object, take the object, gamma, mahagda. M concept, yeah, panyadi, uh, not nibbana. So that's why uh, loba take the object as three, yeah, for the basic one, yeah. So here, akusala you will find here, here, here. So three object, three object. So if you don't forget the chidasika chapter, mental factor chapter, and this two table, then 
we don't need to plan. Yeah, we don't need to give a time for that. Yeah, but uh, there is some uh, some new information. That's why I made this table. Yeah, so for example, Aku Salat Jitasika 14. Yeah, uh, Moha Ahirika Nutapa, if you remember, <laughs> Nutapa Odeja. Yeah, Loba, uh, Deity, Mana, etc. Yeah. All for uh, fourteen and holes and mandal factors, all objects except logodra. And this is a special, yeah, new information. I say, so for example, Asa, Asa, yeah, envy or jealous, yeah, jealousy. So this one already included here, but this new information is Asa is a jealousy. Jealousy must be the external object, yeah? External object, except logodra. So all object, all external objects, except logodra. Actually, this one is already enough, but uh, Asa cannot uh, take the internal object. So if you meet a person who is more beautiful than you, more um, rich than you, um, so successful than you, you feel the jealousy. So that's why this is external object. If you have a very intelligent knowledge, if you have, yeah, if you have, you don't feel jealousy of yourself. <laughs> Oh, I'm jealous of myself because I'm too good. <laughs> no, not internal. So this is new information, yeah? But already uh, included here. All objects except Logodra. But for the ASA, only external object, yeah? Not to internal object. Abamanya, Karuna, and Mutida. So Abamanya... So the consciousness, eight holes and great holes and consciousness, eight and uh, uh, eight great functional, yeah? And first jhana, second, uh, first mandin jhana, second mandin jhana three, and uh, third mandin jhana and fourth mandin jhana, not fit. Fifth Mandinjana is with Upeka, equanimity. So that's why you cannot have the Karuna and Mudita. Yeah, Karuna and Mudita. So actually, this eight Mahakusala, yeah, great holes and consciousness, four consciousness with knowledge, without knowledge, can take Gama, Mahagata, and concept not logodra nibbana and with knowledge yeah with knowledge can take the all the object kama mahagda um panyati nibbana but uh, you have to exclude it arhata maga and pala so that's why we you have already understand that one but the here new information is external, must be external beings. Yeah. So karuna, compassion. When you look at someone who is very poor, very terrible situation, you can contemplate compassion to the Myanmar people at the moment. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot of people are suffering. Yeah. Not only Burmese, but also maybe in somewhere in Ukraine, in Africa, everywhere. But uh, this is very clear. We should contemplate compassion. But uh, when we examine or when we look at the whole world, the whole world, even though they are very rich, yeah, <laughs> they are very rich, they, they feel suffering. It's a mental problem or something like that. So all the... Uh, when you contemplate uh, karuna, yeah, compassion uh, meditation, it must be 
external as well. Yeah, external as well. Yeah. I see. I do. Why uh, we can't can do compassion for ourselves also? Isn't it taught like metta to practice for oneself? Also? Yeah. 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 As far as I know, as far as I know, in the Abhidhamma, some people say like that. Yeah. Even the Oxford Seattle. Yeah. It's a mudita. You have to. Uh, contemplate yourself the mudita. Mm -hmm. I also read in the Pali text. It's it's not according to the text. Cannot cannot contemplate uh, better inside your heart, but the object must be external. Mm -hmm. uh, if you if you find uh, some sources, please tell me. But as far as I know, the mudita as well. It's wrong. Sometimes the even Seattle uh, said, uh, if you can do something, you have to uh, practice a mudita yourself or something like that. But uh, in the Abhidhamma, as far as I know, cannot. The mm. compassion as well. <laughs> That's uh, what I what I found. That yeah, if you yeah. find some sources, please tell me. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it is a. You know, uh, compassion is a, what is it, uh, realistically thinking, yeah? Practically thinking. I think uh, mudita is only when you look at someone, someone is better than you, and you feel happy, joy. It's called a mudita. If you can do something, oh, Hey, Kusala, you're great. <laughs> you feel happy, but uh, we cannot say it's a happy of my achievement yourself, not the mudita. Mudita is a focusing on other success or something like that. Yeah. So, but uh, if you find some source, and uh, please tell me. Uh, yeah. As far as I know, no, it's a wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one, Abhamanya, yeah, Karuna Murida must be the external object. It's a time free, it's a limitless, yeah, limitless, without limits. That one as well is very difficult to uh, explain for the illimitables, yeah, uh, limitless, limitless. This Karuna, you can, uh, you can pride this. Karuna, there is no limit. Yeah, no limit. And Lokiya Viridi. As a Viridi, um, is a what is it? What is it? I I forgot in English. Here. Let me look at here. Ab abstinence. Oh. Abstinence. Thank you. Yeah, abstinence. Mm -hmm. Okay, abstinence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So Lokiya, yeah, Lokiya Viridi and Lokotara Viridi. So Lokiya Viridi is a uh, uh, here present Kama Vachara Jitasika and matters. So this is a two kinds of Viridi. So present Kama Vachara Jitasika and matter. It means uh, if you are about to uh, break a uh, precept and then you remember oh I should not do that then you avoid you avoid killing or stealing this is without the logodara knowledge yeah this is the karma vajara yeah mending uh vidati. and if you practice the jhana at that moment you don't kill you don't steal etc is called the Lokiya Viridi. Logodara Viridi. Logodara Supramandine Abstinent is if you reach the Sotapati uh, Maga level, Maga Pala level, then you don't break any precepts. At that moment, it's called the Logodara Viridi because you will never break the rule. 
but uh, for the Loki ability, after contemplating jhana, then you may steal or you may uh, kill, you may break uh, any kinds of precept, yeah? So time free nibbana, yeah? There's no limit, it said all the time, yeah? All the time, you, you will not break any precept, yeah? And the rest, 33, yeah, all objects. So that's finish for the objects mm. chapter. I think uh, we we gave uh, many many hours yeah for the object <laughs> for the object. So what to sangaha? <clears throat> what to sangaha? We will uh, start later, but uh, only introduction analysis of mental phenomena. Mental phenomena by basis, yeah. What to sangaha? What to means the basis, yeah. Sangaha, yeah. The chapter or section, yeah. But actually, sangaha means comb um, combining together, yeah. Uh, collecting together, maybe some other English word, yeah. What to sangaha? So what to chapter? That's enough, yeah. Six six kinds of bases, yeah. Jaku, Wutu, I'm base, I'm sensitivity, soda, Wutu, ear base, ear sensitivity, Ghana, Wutu, nose base, nose sensitivity, Jinhua, Wutu, tongue base, tongue sensitivity, Gaya, Wutu, body base, body sensitivity, Hadaya, Wutu, heart base, yeah. So I want to continue uh, next next time, yeah? So let me stop here for the day. <laughs> sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Yeah, okay. So hope Mr. Allen, we will discuss later. Last <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> What is it? The last chart was the easiest. <laughs> <laughs>